are exploring a meditation that will incorporate Hakini Mudra. If you're not familiar, Hakini is, um, depending on who you ask, she is considered to be a goddess or an earth demon. Uh, but in either scenario, she is associated with the third eye, um, Ajna, um, which is the chakra that governs our intuition. And um, this meditation is really um, designed to help with clarity and mental focus, which apparently I could use right now. Um, so the mudra itself is a, sort of a metaphor for drawing together the five elements. So you have water, and you have earth, you have ether, air, and fire. Um, and so we'll connect those and we'll plug them into the third eye, and then we'll work with our breath a little bit to bring the energy into that zone um, to create that kind of fusion. Uh, so get yourself comfortable, uh, either in full lotus like I'm doing here, half lotus, supasana, anything that makes you feel grounded um, and comfortable because we'll be here for a little bit. And then gradually bring your awareness around to your breath. And while that's underway, you can close your eyes, but direct your inner gaze to Ajna so that little spot just above and between your brows. And let the breath begin to smooth out around the edges. So the exhales and the inhales start to blur together. And the inhales and the exhales also begin to merge. And then flip your palms up. And you can keep your eyes closed when you're actually doing this meditation, but for now you may want to open them and uh, follow along as we raise our hands and we plug in the fingerprints and the thumbprints. So again, uniting those elements metaphorically and then guide the thumbs right to that third eye zone. Allow the elbows to relax, and even though the hands are holding the shape, which might feel a little unnatural, allow the hands to the best of your ability to relax as well. Good. Empty the breath again. And then taking Kachari Mudra, which is a mudra we do with our tongue, you're going to press the tongue up into your palate as you take your next breath in. And then release the tongue as you exhale through your nose. And then inhale again, depressing the tongue to the palate. I'm releasing the exhale. We'll continue breathing that way. It will become a little more intuitive over time. And although it's completely normal for the thoughts to shift around, do your best to fix your gaze right on that third eye point for the duration of the meditation. And then notice if the breath has become choppy. We'll just get to work on smoothing out those edges again. Breathing in, lift the tongue to the roof of the mouth. And breathing out to release. And stay with it. I'll be holding this space for just about 30 more seconds. Peripherally notice the body. Relax the elbows and the shoulders. Continue to focus your attention right at that point where Ajna meets your thumbs. The fire elements are connecting. Nice. One more breath. Everybody take a deep inhale together. Lock that breath in using your bandhas. So lift the pelvic floor. Pull your navel to your spine, tuck your chin towards your chest slightly. Feel that energy current rising up, up, up the spine. And then open your mouth and exhale and let that go. 
Release your hands. If available, you can plug your fingertips into the earth, the floor, whatever you've got next to you. And then roll your shoulders down, your back sit really tall. Just reclaiming your space. Breath in and through the nose, exhale. And that's it. You can do this meditation as long as you need to. Um, set a timer and work the breath for three minutes, five, seven, 11. You can go up to 30 minutes. Um, and I will be uh, posting tomorrow a video that will be vinyasa focused, but incorporating that Hakini Mudra also. Um, so now you know what that's all about when you take that class. And uh, this meditation that you can do anywhere, so log it away. And uh, until next time, always be wishing.